Welcome back to Nacho Stuff. We were out of commission yesterday. We actually uh, plan on running yesterday, but the car gave us some issues. The car's got a bunch of lights on, so I took it in to have it looked at. That's why you aren't down. Let's see if we can cut that. Um, and it's my anti-lock brake system module, ABS. Uh, the ABS module's not good on it, which is uh, Spanish or Latin or German or whatever to me. It doesn't mean anything to me. It just means the car's not proper. So uh, they gotta order the parts and all that good stuff. It's fine to drive as is, it just <clears throat> shuts off that function for the vehicle. Let's see if that helps or not. You should come out now, right? Yep, yeah, you come out. That feels well in. We did grab a mower on the way out to the stomping grounds this morning. Oh, yes, that did work. Come on, keep going, guys. Much better. Problem solved. But we'll get that fixed here uh, in the near future, hopefully. It doesn't take too long to get those parts in. But, uh... The yard was closed anyway, so <clears throat> Kev ran and Kev did marvelous, he said, when I talked to him. But uh, what happens, happens. So uh, let's get after it today. It's kind of sparse, the first two neighborhoods we've gone through, but uh, we're hoping that'll change because we want to stop for today. So uh, let's see what kind of junks we can find. I know, we're coming in for the chairs because... That's what it's like, but I just get a call from my AC guy and he got a unit for us. Man, they're the saviors of the week, man. They've been, they've been keeping me afloat with the lighter scrap. I appreciate that. All the guys out there that are giving me hollers and saying, hey, Matt, we got scrap for you. That's why it's all about building those relationships. They can certainly make a huge difference in your day. Onward. I'd have to save this for, uh, the one guy at the scrap yard that scraps on his bike, he, uh, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys remember we were talking to him last week because he had that inappropriate <laughs> joke. These are going to be aluminum, by the way. Um, but he had a really nice scrapping toe thing. He had steel on the bottom. He could drag and like totally, I mean, it was legit. But he scrapped it, he said, because he got mad because they weren't letting him in the yard because you're technically not supposed to go in without a vehicle. And they don't consider a bike a vehicle. But they're letting him back in now, so he might want a little bit better uh, towing vehicle than that little red wagon he was using. <laughs> so if we see him, we might have to pass this guy on to him. If we don't see him, we won't. Onward truck that they're coming for me <laughs> sounds like it's already across the street oh there's a weight bench in there too i think <laughs> i think there's something else in that in that pile i barely saw this chair man they got you buried in here guys what is this yeah, part of an exercise thing. I think somebody else got the rest of it. He missed this piece. He's buried in there nicely. Onward. Got ourselves a quick two for here. It's not a whole bunch on either side, but we're not sure what the day is going to hold, so we're going to take it. I'll do one more screen in there. Let's go. One more screen. Come on, screen. Yeah, really, that's uh, that aluminum. I don't know if this is gonna be aluminum or not. This is like a strange little contraption here. It's gonna be steel. Steel through and through. Friend. A patio for a jerk kick. 
It's a steel table there. I can see the rust coming through. Is the glass gonna come off? Oh, it does, beautiful. Okay, you come over here with the wood. Right like such. And a chair. You can go up there too, my friend. Howard. First big in, in a long time, especially our fridge. We even had our fridge, I don't think, in weeks. We're taking the gate down. We haven't checked the fridge yet. It'll probably be gross. <laughs> That's the way it works, right? Come on, no nastiness. Oh, beautiful. Wheels? What? <laughs> That's bizarro. <sighs> Shoot. Oh, those were glass too. That would not have been cool. Where's your tooth at, man? <laughs> Get something to close these doors. I can just feel glass breaking as we speak. <sighs> this will work. This will work. Boy's got a square knot. I should hold right. That's why. Hold it to leave it. This one's heavy. There we go. Come on, get out there. There we go. Where is she going? Here looks like someone is not renting here anymore. It done got thrown out. Oh my gosh, this is so light. We're taking it anyways. I wanted that refrigerator now, but got stuck on this. We got stuck in the, the tangles of the of the wicker. Oh, look at this, guys. We got ourselves a fan. We're fans of fans here and not just stuff. So please take a moment and mash that like button because that's what we do when we find fans. Hashtag fan of a fan. Okay, you two can come. You can come too. These are all pretty airy, but I don't know. We'll probably start finding more big stuff again, right? Now we got all this bulky stuff in here. Almost got our first November Christmas. 
just missed it by a couple of days. Fingerboards. Look, there's a machete in here. You're broken. You're broken. Ooh, that's broken glass. Not good. We'll take the Paris and the other thing, the other coffee thing or bobber. You go right there for a minute, my friend. Stay. Don't fall. Okay. Whoosh. All right. Let's blow this pop stand. The reason why there's some stuff that's not out here this week is there's still stuff out here from last week. I just passed that one house where I picked up those poles off that swing set that had the plastic on them. All that plastic was still there from last week. So they even haven't been here since we went through last week. So I think people are doubting whether they should put stuff out or not. We're so far behind with, between the bushes and the uh, garbage around here. It's crazy town. Onward! Can we be blessed with brass? Or is this gonna be aluminum? Come on, be the big B. Oh, you're heavy enough to be. Oh, don't be steel. <laughs> yeah, it's as steel as they come. Oh man, no brass for Matt. Well, that's a bummer. I really thought that was going to be the, th the real deal. Oh, come on, get around. Get around that. There we go. Now get around that mower thing. Oh, you stinkers. There we go. What are we stuck on? What are we stuck on now? There we go. That's not gonna come off. Okay. Onward. Almost zooted past these aluminum crutches. Coming back for him. Oh, there's a scooter here too. And these are probably stainless steel. These are for a gorilla, I believe. Oh, non ferrous stuff. Oh, the good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna put you up front. I have a feeling you're gonna fall through. And they are stainless. Onward. More steel patio furniture. Look how fancy this one is. Looks like faux rocks. You're gonna take up a lot of space too. <laughs> Where's my air conditioner gonna live? These 
These were, I bet, really cool when they were brand new. Now, not so much. Onward. Alrighty, guys, we've made it to the yard. We got ourselves unstrapped. So they were closed yesterday, and it still took an extra 20 minutes to get in here today. I don't know what's going on with the trucks and everything else. But, you gotta get in and out of here. I have a son at home that doesn't feel great today. So we're trying to get done and get home. Oh, yeah. come on, baby. This was hard to get on. It's hard to get off. Get me. Wow, look at all that. That's why it's broken. It's got so much junk in it. So I went to the other scrap yard where they take the computers. They did not pay $2 a computer. You only paid 25 cents a pound because some of them were uh, like Chromebooks. They weren't like true computers. So I don't know that I'm going to do that again in the future because the carrying and making a special trip out there for that much. I don't know that it's worth it. Let's put you there. I have a feeling I'm going to bury stuff I put on the inside. Um, we also might not be able to get to Jeffy because their computers are down. So, we will if we can, but if the computers aren't fixed by the time I unload, then we're just going to add it to tomorrow's. But we'll see here in a moment. Oh, there's some wire. I forgot I tied that door. We don't forget my wire. <laughs> yep, you couldn't come in the wrong way, brother. Ugh. Got big bad fill over here unloading as well. go for the engine on this piece. Get this off before we get out of here. Might give Jeffy an extra couple of mats. Come on, man. Still wish this was brass. That would have been a nice chunk of change right there. Ugh. Don't have much non ferrous today. Did not see my guy. See that little swirl of things going. <clears throat> Whoa. Hi, wire. 
<laughs> it is a wicker. It was just a little baby air conditioner we got. It wasn't a big jumbo one. But something's better than nothing. I don't even know where this hose came from. It must have been inside one of those patio furnitures. That's aluminum. getting rid of these <laughs> nitrogen things. <sighs> All right, guys. We're going to uh, try to get that mower deck, or not deck, engine. And then hopefully Jeff's open. He may or may not be. We'll catch you over yonder or we'll catch you at checkout. Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid. It's gonna be a quick outro today because Jeffy never opened up. He was just, his computers were just coming up as I was getting ready to leave and I didn't have time to turn back and do that. So we're just gonna do that tomorrow. Um, so we'll uh, dive into our little baby receipt because we only have one line, which is 10. Um, we did, like I said, we did stop at that one scrap yard. Um, originally they said they'd pay $2 a laptop, which I guess they, technically do but it needs to be a laptop and it needs to be complete as far as battery monitor all the stuff there um, some of the ones i had were like chromebooks and things like that which i guess technically aren't computers they don't have the same boards and things on them so um, he didn't count a number of the ones we had so he just paid me uh, a flat 25 cents per pound is, is the way he did it and i was okay with that because i just wanted to get rid of them um, but we ended up making $28 at that yard uh, for the laptops we had. I think we had a 112 or 117, just over 100 pounds is what we had uh, of laptops. Um, and so we were hoping to get, you know, probably closer to 50, 60 bucks and we got $28. So like I said, in the future, I don't know that I'll necessarily run out there uh, for that difference. Um, but it's a learning lesson. That's what happens when you go to different yards and such you learn, but let's dive into our receipt here for, uh, E and H and it's 10, 1300 pounds, seven and a half cents a pound for 9750. So with that and, um, the laptop money, we were over our goal. We were over our weight. So not a bad day. Um, the one air conditioner, <laughs> it was very small. It's probably not going to pay a whole bunch, but you just never know what you're going to get. It's nice to have those relationships to help uh, make up for uh, slower days. So I'm happy to have them. But uh, that's that, man. No, no big pickers, no big craziness. We did have that nice big fridge um, and we had uh, some stuffs to pick up, but nothing uh, too crazy. But uh, we'll get back after it again tomorrow. Hopefully uh, tomorrow is one of our uh, bigger territories. Hopefully we can find a whole mess of stuff. But until we get out there, we won't know. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. Please smash that thumbs up before you get out of here. I'd greatly appreciate it. And as always, it's not your stuff. But I mean, you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and we'll see you then.